Hi everybody, I'm Louise and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making for you a wind chime. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm using bits and bats out of my shed, things that were set to be no use to anybody, going to be thrown out, load of old rubbish basically. I'm going to make a few bits to go with it and um, paint a few bits up and make it lovely. So if you want to watch how I'm going to do this, keep watching and I'll show you. I'm just going to my shed to see what I can salvage. Uh, so I can find it's horrible here we've got storm Eric today right so oh my gosh this is um, I won't take you in here oh god um, right let's see what I can find it's so dark in here as well I always worried there's a blooming mouse that's going to jump out and me or something so it's been living in here oh that was a bird right I'll tune in in a minute when I when I found what I need I don't know if you can see, because it's so dark in here, but this is uh, this this is what I'm wanting. This is what I'm going to use, some of this. So, this old stuff that I've used for borders. So, I'll just try and drag some of that off. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I can see that I could do something with. Hmm. Right, so I'm just going to... Oh, Put it a bit. I'm just gonna candy. Sorry, I'm just gonna take some of these bits off here. Um, I want about five or six of them, so I'm gonna take these bits off here. They are actually hanging in my bin at the minute. Sorry, it's the only way I can balance my phone. I'm just giving them a good, good wash with some soap and water. rummaging around in the shed they're obviously old handles that were off a set of jars so I'm gonna use these as well okay okay so these are the bits now so I've uh, these are the bits off the lamps these are the bits off that border thing that I got out of the shed. The door handles I've drilled the holes through and these are what was left over from the table the other day so I'm going to use them as well. My partner actually made these this for me and he cut it in the workshop for me and drilled some holes in it because um, well he's just quite a bit more professional than I am so he's done that for me so that's what I'm going to be using to hang everything from so that's what he's done okay ducks so I have um, got all my bits now ready so the preparation bit is out of the way that's done so I'm now gonna start and paint the top bit and these bamboo bits the reason why I've used these is because the hollow and when the hollow they give a nice ding a nice woody sound don't they so um yeah so that's why I've used these and same with these as well because they're hollow so they make a nice sound so I'm gonna start painting now then so if you want to watch me let's crack on yeah I've decided I'm gonna paint these two bits that were left over from the bird bath project in the shed paint also so these have dried nicely so I'm just going to give them a thin coat of varnish just to just to seal them to so protect them a bit more. Right so I'm just going to drill some holes in the end. I know there's holes all over this bamboo but it, that's fine but I need them up at the top here so that I can thread my string through. So I'm just going to drill some holes right through on the ends of all these bamboos. So we're now into Saturday. I've left it to dry overnight that lot. So um, I'm going to start and put the project together now and turn it into a lovely wind chime.
look, so I threaded all that through and um, basically left two long hoops at each side and then I threaded one right through the middle. So I've secured those at the top. I'll show you before I finish what I've done with that. So you're left with all this at the bottom. So to make it easier, I'm going to just try and get tie up the outside bits so they're not, they're not in the way and work from the middle out put, put my decoration on it. Because um, you can't see if there's under wood from the trees and all this lot. Tie all that up, all the outside bits. That's done, yes, you're just left with these. So you've got to decide what decoration I'm putting on now. This is the fun part. This is so this is the fun part, this is where we decorate it. So I've lifted all the outside bits up from the outside rim and um, just left with the middle bits hanging. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So you just keep threading them through. I'm just make, basically making this up as I go along. So it's, 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 it's got to come from in here. It depends what you want to do. You can do anything, can't you? You could collect any old bits and, and make these. So as you can see, I've got the, the centrepiece done. They're all the, um, the cabinet candles. Um, and that's what was left over from the bird table. So you can see I'm starting to build it up now. So that's me bits on the inside done. I didn't really need to drill these holes in because because I'm uh, I get these things in my mind, but I don't actually sit and plan them out. I just do it as I go along. Um, and I was thinking maybe I was going to kind of tie this string through these holy bits, but. I haven't done it that way anyway, so I put some of the jewels on um, that was an old bracelet that I've taken to bits and um, I'm just going to keep building it up so I'll show you in a minute what the next bit's going to look like. My grip before, yeah I come undone Once fast asleep, both night and day now I'm wide awake hmm. My world is turning all So that's cost me nothing at all Just a, just a bit of my time And I've actually really enjoyed doing it um, Absolutely really enjoyed making that It was, it was so easy to do The centre bit is the um, draw handles And the leftover bird table bits from that lamp that my friend lamp base that my friend gave me these are obviously the bits that I've used out of the um, that, that um, bamboo border that for, for around the edging of your, your lawn or whatever the top bit is I've just painted it white on the top oops sorry just painted it white on the top where the um, where the rope bits come through because I thought it just finished off a bit better and then I've wrap the rope quite tightly round round the other ropes just to secure it more I've got it stuck in my cupboard door handle with a spoon and and on the top bit oops, i'll just take this off a minute hang on a minute sorry so on the top bit i just got um a key ring basically and secured it with that so i could i'll be able to hook it into on something in the garden um it's very secure and uh, yeah, I think it's lovely. Just shows you what a bit of imagination, bit, bits of old rubbish that are hanging about your house. It shows you what you can do if you put your mind to it and if you can be actually bothered. But these are really expensive to buy. I've seen them in garden centres and um, they're probably a bit better than one I've made. I don't know, but I, I, I've seen them and I, and I just love them. Um, but this is unique, this is my own and I feel better for having this because it's, um, it's something that I've made out of nothing so um, it's better than going out and spending 30, 40 pound or whatever on a, a nice one isn't it, you've got the one that you've made yourself so yeah, so 
so there we go Ooh, oh, I come under.